This is Crystal High of Politic 365, and welcome to Backstage Pass. Here today with Warren Ballantyne, incomparable, needs no introduction. I don't know about that. Well, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who's watching Backstage Pass knows who you are. I hope so. I hope so. So look, we just had this dynamic panel, Occupy the Vote, of which you were one of the speakers. Talk to me about this geese sense, right? Because you were dropping some knowledge on the folks, so we got to flesh that out a bit. Well, you know, like I said on stage, I'm, I'm a little peculiar. Uh, I'm somebody who I, I do a lot of research. And because I do a lot of research, I spend maybe about three nights, three hours a night sleeping. I don't, I don't sleep much. And I've been doing that since law school, so it's been happening for about 10 years now. Uh, and, and I watch the, the Nature Channel while I'm researching and eating my Captain Crunch. And um, a story on the geese came on, and it was just amazing to me. Uh, how these geese interacted with themselves. And I was like, man, if we had geese sense in our community, it would be amazing because you have this, you ever seen a flock of geese fly? There's one goose out in front. They're in perfect formation. When that goose gets tired, another goose comes to the front and takes its place. So they take turns being the leader of the flock. What's also amazing about geese is that as a pack, they travel at 70 miles per hour. As an individual goose, they can only travel at 8 to 12 miles per hour. So they have enough sense to come together and work together to travel further as a group than as an individual. What also is amazing to me about uh, geese is that when you see them flying this flock, is one particular goose at the back is flying, look like it might be a little drunk. But what it's doing is basically watching the other geese fly, and if one of the other goose get, gets particularly tired in, in the flight pattern, it comes underneath that particular goose to keep the flight pattern tight so they can travel farther. Imagine if we took turns leading, if we had each other's back, if we work together, imagine if we just had geese sense in our community, what we could be accomplishing right now. Uh, we have all these brilliant minds, all these people who have all uh, this money and opportunity, but yet we're not, we're farther back today than we were pre-segregation days. And it's because we're not working together. Everybody's doing their own thing. We have a case of the me-isms instead of the, the we-isms. And so it's important that, you know, we occupy the vote, but it's more important that we come together to change what's happening in the community. And, and last, I just close on this. You know, my grandmother used to tell me all the time, you know, uh, baby, a dream without a plan is nothing but a wish. And right now we got a lot of dreamers who are not planning, and that's why we're living in the days of wishing. Mm -hmm. No, I, I love that. And I mean, the geese sense is right on. How do we get there, brother? How do we get there? Well, it's a couple of things. We, we, have, to, we have to have love in, in our community and love for each other. We got to support each other. The second thing is we have to be analytical in our thought process in this sense. We think about money in one or two ways, big money or, or no money at all. And I grew up in the projects of Chicago. I'm a lawyer. I'm on the radio. I'm a partner in a law firm that did $20 million last year. So I went from growing up with nothing to, well, I can buy anything in the world I really want if I choose to do it. And, and, and the reality of it is this. My law firm, we made our money not by a big money splash. It was little money coming through the door. And this is the same thing that President Obama taught us when he ran for uh, president in 2008. What did he say? Give me $5. And a million people gave him $5. He raised $5 million. But not only that, a million, a million people who gave him that $5 were a million new voters because they were invested in him. And so we have to teach each other how to be invested in one another. We have to, we have to learn how to say, how do we invest in each other? What's your project you're working on that I can be a part of, whether either I'm helping you out financially or I'm giving you some advice in what you're Doing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something to open the door for you and, and, and everybody out there that's in a position, I, I tell people I live my life with the, with, the, with the theory of four. I have four people around me at all time. I have somebody that's older than me who's an elder and it's a difference between an older person and an elderly a, a elder person. And this elder, he gives me advice without telling me what to do. He just drops little pearls and say, if I was in that situation, this is what I may do. Then I have my line brother who I pledge with, who we're the same age, we have two different uh, career paths, but he's there to keep me honest. When, when I'm I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Man, you know you shouldn't be doing that, dog. You know you shouldn't be doing that. Then I have my cousin, who's who's a year older than me, who has five baby mamas and, and can't keep a job. And I keep him in my life, so when I get tired and want to quit, I say, oh, hell no, I can't end up like him, so I got to keep working. And then I have 15 young guys that I keep that's under me that I try to pour into them everything that I'm getting and I try to help them out and mentor them and, you know, pay for them to go to college and all this other stuff. So I try to tell people, live in that, that, that volume of four. Keep four good people around you. Keep that elder person. Keep somebody who will keep you honest. Keep somebody who will keep you motivated and keep somebody that you can give back to. And if you do that, I think we, we can start changing the, the dynamics of how we treat each other in America. Well, I'm looking forward to your continued leadership, especially as you assume a position higher in the ranks I'm just in our to be, flocks. I'm just trying to be a geese. That's all I'm trying to be. <laughs> I, I don't have to be in the front. I could, I could be the one watching everybody. That, I'm cool with that. 
Well, look, if we on the same team, I'd be honored to have you watching my back. Let's do it. All right. Thank you so much.